Land Rover Series 2A. Um, worked so far. I've brazed in or sold it in an aluminium strip here onto this bracket. Um, seems to have turned out okay. It's the first time I, I've tried it, so it seems pretty strong. Um, so that's all that needs to be done to that particular wing. I'm quite pleased with the result. It's messed up the paint on this side, but that's how it goes. I have to try and get that uh, sorted out soon. Um, through to the other wing. This is in a bit more of a state. It's, it was rattling about and it sort of rattled these holes to an enormous size and a little bit with a bit of corrosion. Anyway, I have to get that done today. If we got down in here, this bracket is broken, so that's why it's vibrating so much. Anyway, I've got to get that done. Um, it's been cut out around here for the wastegate on the turbo, so I'll have to try and tidy this up and make a nice little housing for it, make it look tidy. This, this, but this. Um, door pillars in, <coughs> door swing is quite well, there's a nice gap down each side and the footwell is repaired so I'm quite pleased with all that. The welding on the chassis here is, uh, is done, quite pleased with that again. It's got a little bit more grinding down to do, tidying up to make it look, uh, look reasonably smart. The door's gone in at some point. This um, bulkhead had been worked on, and I didn't notice that they had ever done it, had narrowed it here. So you can see the difference. I should really take that out and, and redo it, but uh, it's a bit late now. I'll have to stay as it is. But the door swings quite well, it shuts well, and there's lines up well here so I'm it's good enough for me. Um, so, so I've taken this tub out because all the rivets have gone on it. They pulled out. I'll show you that shortly. And I put in the new gearbox cross member. A bit difficult to see down there. A new gearbox mounts. Um, and the the back plates are on, on the brakes, both sides, wheel spacers. These horns are going to be replaced, they'll be ordered up this week. Like all these projects, you think they're going to take a few weeks and it ends up months and sometimes years. But uh, just have to keep at it. Um, here's the turbo, this, this pipe was rubbing on the, on the wing and it's, I think it's perished. Well, not perish, it's just worn through and it's sucking in air. So, I have to get that sorted out and check out the turbo. More weld to do around here, the door pillar is sort of in position. Uh, this is the exhaust that I made up. Um, comes out just in front of the back wheel. I think it's off of uh, an old Defender this, uh, this exhaust so it'd be interesting to see what it sounds like. It's a bit bigger board than I think the standard one. Uh, welding on this side, this is all solid this side, it's okay. But except for there, that outrigger, I can soon put a bit in there. Um, so I've taken this tub out, so all, all the uh, the rivets are pulled out, so I'm going to replace all of them. I found dials in the in my shed, so I've put them in. Don't know why, really, but might as well make use of them rather than sitting in the shed. Um, so progress is slow, but it is progress. Um, like everything, you can't spend as much time as you'd like. And you're always finding more things to do. The uh, this tub or whatever it's called, seat support, is down here. The aluminium is pop riveted to this 
well, supposed to be pot riveted to this um, battery box. I've taken the battery box out because of the new exhaust. And I'm going to weld a plate in there and just make that into a little compartment. And as you can see, all the rivets are pulled out through the map. Um, so I've drilled them out, bloody great holes, but I've all got rivets on order and hopefully they'll be big enough to go straight into those holes. If not, I'll have to re-drill them. Well, that's about it for today.